generic picker. When I was still planning on the MG Picker Studio project, I emailed and asked a lot of friends about what they expect from the picker tool. And one of my friends asked that uh, if there's any possibility that you can create a default picker that works on every rig. Uh, basically, this is just impossible unless you really uh, digging and modifying the pickers to adapt to their specific rigs. However, in real production, uh, it's totally possible because in real production, each studio probably have their own rigging tools and rigging systems, or they just use the uh, rigging tools available online. So they end up with same naming conventions for maybe uh, for characters. All the controls are naming in the same way, and they probably have another system of naming conventions for props or for set or for. Uh, creatures or vehicles, um, but maybe for say they are all humans characters, so they will be uh, the same naming convention. So you have a chance to really design generic picker for character and another generic picker for maybe creature or props or sets or vehicles. Um, so you end up with maybe uh, three or five or four uh, pickers for your whole project. So uh, maybe not for only one single project, for several projects or all the projects that running in your studio, uh, you just use these four or five pickers that applies to all the uh, rigs. So let's demonstrate how to do this in MG Picker Studio. Um, let's skip all the design of the generic picker. Say I have already got the generic picker uh, be designed. It's for generic human. So I will just remain it to generic human. Okay. So this, um, the name of the picker file does matter uh, since it will be shown to the animators so they can really know that oh this is the generic picker for human character okay so just save that generic human so for now we just skip all the uh, these designing things uh, I will talk this later and we just go to the uh, system that just newly be available for MG Picker Studio version 1.51 okay um, so we just go to misc and preference uh, for this preference dialog there's no searching directory anymore. Uh, it has been replaced as a picker project settings. So it means um, for searching directory and searching priorities, it's picker project specific. So um, there's a new whole bunch of uh, settings here. And here, this is what we will talk about, generic picker file setting. So uh, for animator or for designer, uh, they should go to the add and pick up that generic human picker we just designed and pick this mgpkr file and click the pick button and this will add generic human in the generic picker file list okay so um, this is really useful if you switch to animator mode uh, it gives you a warning and uh, this is by default there's a warning here and uh, it want, wants you the uh, saving issues in animator mode because in animator mode you can save any picker files Okay, so we just don't show again and switch to animator mode. Um, in animator mode, uh, we have set up a generic uh, picker right now. So for animator, anytime he can just grab any part of human character here and then go to this just left mouse button click on this namespace area and click on it and he will see that uh, uh, star sign and generic human okay uh, the star sign indicates that this is a generic picker okay so this picker is tend to uh, tend to apply to all the human characters so that means generic human okay so with this uh, any part of character be selected and you just go to this menu and pick the human because this is a human right so for props he, he will pick, uh, pick the generic props in this menu right and so uh, with that being done um, actually the this is called Bonnie rig so it will namespace this uh, picker with Bonnie and the picker tab here is related to Bonnie right so if the human character all shares the same naming convention so chances are if you grab these picker buttons and 
the relative nodes will be selected. But uh, I don't have any example rigs that from the same rigging system, so it still doesn't work. But I just want to demonstrate this for you. Um, if the rigs come from the uh, the same rigging tools, they should work. Okay. So this is a quick way to set up generic picker and animator can just grab this uh, picker from this left mouse button clicking menu and just grab uh, the related type. So uh, you end up with generic human here and generic proxy and generic set here. Uh, you can name it uh, any, any form but just make sure the animator can grab it uh, intuitively. Okay. So there's also in C snow uh, menu here and current project here and you can update this menu but if animator say go to the preference and set up new uh, generic pickers say I just go to this uh, generic picker and add it to the uh, this list and close it and go to this menu that already generic picker variable here so we just grab any part of it and generic picker you will open up that generic picker file but these two files are just the same okay so let's discuss more about this uh, designing things on this generic picker first uh, if it should be a generic picker you really need to avoid that uh, using the character name in this picker directly um, so uh, maybe you can just use it uh, generic And another thing is that this background image. So uh, this background image will be distracting if uh, I use this picker on Bonnie character since this is really the image from Mary. So um, you probably uh, snapshot a silhouette image instead of this concrete image. So uh, just like this is a silhouette image, so uh, it's not it's okay if you just use this picker for Bonnie character. Um, you will uh, go further and make this uh, generic silhouette image more generic. Um, that means make it a little bit uh, gender confused. <laughs> okay, um, so this is the, for the uh, background images. And another thing, uh, say for human character, there are two systems of uh, rigging tools. So maybe for one type of human, I use this uh, rigging system and naming convention. And for another human, um, I use another type of rigging tool and rigging uh, naming conventions. So basically there are maybe two types of rigs for uh, human character. Okay, so how to do that? Uh, how to make a uh, picker file now adapt to type of uh, rigging system? An idea for that is um, maybe you can just design two body panels. Okay, so for now I just just duplicate. No, uh, duplicate doesn't work on the picker panel. So we'll just Control C and Control V. Um, say this is a, a one body panel for one rigging tool and another body panel for another rigging tool. They are both for humans. Okay, so uh, you can just design all these um, select buttons and attribute buttons that adapt to their two rigging systems. Okay, so uh, of course you don't actually need to show these two body panels for animators. So you can just do this. You can just create a attribute button and just name it. Um, maybe uh, use it as a enum and say uh, human rigs number one okay I'll just brow this away um, human rigs number two um, because this is um, just dummy attribute so it allows you to input these pound signs okay so uh, we just maybe rigging use it and okay so you can just use link tool to link this body to uh, show in rig number one and go to this link it to number two okay so 
um, if I switch to the number two, I just grab it back. Same coordinates as the body one does. So when I switch to this uh, body panels, uh, they will switch body picker systems. So uh, I will just edit this to really make it more. Maybe I change the hue a little bit. Okay. So say this is a generic human, and I can just switch to different body panels. And these body panels contain different uh, Maya nodes, so you can just use this. Uh, it looks like uh, just like a single body panel, but it will work on two rigs. So the next thing you need to do is to do some simple coding that um, when the when this uh, pickle file be loaded, it will judge about these um, rigs and see if it's rigging number one or rigging number two. So it will switch the this attribute button values automatically uh, based on this load picker node command. Okay. Um, I will demonstrate this further in the uh, next video tutorial and uh, the programming guide number two. So for now we just keep uh, things really in graphic and without any coding. So there's also another way that in uh, load command you can just uh, edit this text to adapt to the rigs we are just picked and also you can even switch the background image using this API still in low command to switch the maybe in the body the, the body images okay so uh, this is basic ideas that you can use to design the generic picker now if you don't want to this attribute button be visible to animator you can just um, just move it uh, under this body panel and use control and um, down arrow key to send it to the button so that way animator can just uh, find the attribute button easily since they will be automatically switched okay so let's uh, zip back uh, keep it visible so we can do further editing on this but uh, if you are ready to really publish this picker you can just make it hidden under any picker panels